These techniques next after your effleurage are what we call petrissage and kneading and these are a little faster. This is kneading so you're just taking a hand and sort of doing the talking puppet scene except on the skin surface. Again your pressure starts out light and gets deeper as you go along. Now you can do kneading with just your fingertips, reinforcing them with your other hand. Remembering that the muscles in your fingers are, are small, so it's best to reinforce them with your other hand so that you don't strain your fingers. Another petrissage technique is stroking. So all I'm doing is I'm just pushing further down with my fingers. So it's sort of like this sort of a motion downward, but keep your wrist very straight when you do it. And this place where I'm working here, along the side of the spinal column, has a large group of muscles that keep you standing up straight. So when you stroke along these, the erectors, it has a very deep, relaxing effect. And just make sure you come right off. Like, don't go through a stroke and then lift your hand away. Always keep it smooth, flowing, and just come off the body, coming back to start again. So it's heavy going up and light to come back but staying in contact. You can do this with your thumbs as well. So this would be thumb stroking. And you can do it lightly with a forearm but be very careful with this because it, the pressure can get too much very quickly since you're leaning on to your arm. There's also picking up where you're just lifting and shaking, lifting and shaking. So that would be mostly up here around your shoulders. Keep your thumb in close to your hand and just do a gentle squeeze shake. And then again, just using effleurage to end each technique.